Hi, my name is Kevin Schroeder. I'm a residential and commercial realtor and partner at Select Real Estate. Today I'm going to go over a few of the details involved in leasing a commercial property. After locating a building that best suits your business's needs, there's a two-step process. Step one involves working with a realtor to write an offer to lease that will be presented to the landlord. This offer to lease goes over items such as the length of the lease that you would like, the amount that you're prepared to pay per month, if the lease will be a gross or triple net lease, any improvements you would like to complete to the building or any improvements you would like the landlord to complete, the amount of the deposit, and any subjects that you may have. After the offer to lease has been negotiated and accepted by both parties, this is now moving on to step two. Step two is where the landlord takes this information and adds it to his formal lease. This formal lease can be anywhere from a few pages to dozens of pages long. It goes over items such as one, who is responsible for what, such as building repairs, glass repairs, and HVAC systems. Number two, how triple net is calculated and what it covers. And number three, how much insurance you're required to have. After the formal lease agreement has been signed by both parties and you've paid your deposit, you are ready to move in. Here are a few additional pointers. Leasing a commercial property is not like renting a home. There is no government legislation that is governing the lease. It is strictly based on what the lease states. Number two, before accepting the offer to lease, the landlord may request to see financials of your company and or a credit check. The landlord needs to see that you have the ability to make the monthly lease payments. Three, unless your business has a proven track record and long history, you may be required to personally guarantee the lease. And number four, leases cannot be canceled at any time. If you need to shut your business down or move, you may be required or permitted to assign the lease or sublease the space to someone else with prior landlord approval. This has just been a very brief summary on the process involved in leasing a commercial property. If your business is looking to move, please give me a call. I'd be happy to help you out.